Hey there, YouTube. It's me, your president, John Henry. Nah, I'm just messing with you. What is going on, y'all? It is Far Gassier. Hopefully, you're having a great, wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Friends, I got asked by TNG if I wanted to be a judge for this week's top five camps out there in the wasteland. And friends, I am so honored to be able to look at the camps that y'all have submitted this week. Absolutely stunning camps. Y'all made this so hard to judge because every single camp was absolutely amazing. And y'all, if you submitted a camp this week, you will notice that you have a new subscriber because I look forward to seeing what you come up with in the wastelands of Appalachia next. And now for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Far Gassy, or you can just call me Gassy. I am a content creator here on YouTube that mainly focuses on Fallout 76 content. And while I may not be a builder, I love to admire camps while I am on my journey throughout the wasteland. My mission with my content, with my live streams, is to make sure to provide information to vault dwellers so they know what's going on on out there in the wasteland i love to make people laugh and i love to spread positivity so with all of that being said let's get in here and let's check out these top five camps of the week now starting off the top five camps of the week friends we are going to be starting with the clean camps out there in the wasteland and at the number five spot we have only side with a tiny home challenge and y'all sometimes great things aren't these big mansions with these huge footprints and only size shows this off with this build there were some great merges around the camp that i had to look at the video two or three times to really notice but i I really do enjoy compact builds and to see what a creator can do with such a small footprint. The budget used on this was only 60%. Only Sai, amazing job on this build. And at the number four spot, we have Moonlight Cowboy with the Bunker Lux. Y'all, this bunker is absolutely gorgeous. It is immersive. And I can honestly say that I would rather take a punch to the nuts than to try to build this into the side of the mountain like they did. I cannot imagine how much, like just, oh, pain that was. The merged items, everything in there just looked absolutely amazing. Look, honestly, you know, Moonlight, tell me what I need to get inside of this bunker. Is it like jet? Is it caps? Like magazines? What? What's it going to cost me? But Moonlight, absolutely amazing job with building this bunker. And y'all coming in at number three is Mrs. Kitty and Rage with the Ivy Villa. I really enjoy the simple villa design. And y'all, it has a small footprint on the exterior, but the interior is absolutely packed with all sorts of goodies scattered around. It's absolutely amazing. There's some really well-placed merges and the setup looks absolutely amazing. If I was a vault dweller out there in the wasteland, I could definitely see myself calling this place a home. Coming in at number two, and I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. Let me know in the comment section below how to actually say your name. It's Pewee with Skippy's House. And first off, whoever Skippy is, is absolutely lucky because the exterior and the interior of this place is so well thought out. It looks absolutely amazing. And bud, when you were building this camp, look, I've got a couple of Advil. I've got some Tylenol, whatever your preference is. Because after looking at that driveway, I know that absolutely had to be a headache, but you made that look so absolutely good. Amazing looking camp. And now friends, before we get in here and talk about my number one pick for the clean camps of the week in the wasteland, let's get in here and talk about this week's honorable mention, Nuka Nurse with the space age mid-century modern home. Now y'all, from the exterior to the interior, it looked absolutely amazing. There were some great merges. The only thing that I did not like, and it kept it out of the top five for me, is the legs hanging out of the display sign. Now, this was at a 100% budget, and I possibly would have taken something away from the build just to hide those legs because it was a bit of an eyesore. But Nuka Nurse, honestly amazing job and friends coming in at the number one spot for me this week is a camp made by darkwin with the small modern home y'all this small modern home by darkwin is really eye-catching i love the compact build and the way the roof was built looks absolutely amazing to me i love the addition of the lights on the exterior it's just a nice little additive to make it pop out at nighttime in the wasteland the interior was just as impressive to me. I had to watch the video a couple of times because I missed a few of these merges because they fit in so well. And you know what? Looking at this camp a few times, I see they're like me down here in Georgia and try to leave up the holiday decorations as long as humanly possible. Seriously, Darkwin, amazing job. And to everyone that submitted in the clean camp build, y'all absolutely rocked it. It was so great to look at these. Hey up guys, it's TNG, how we all doing? I just thought I'd jump into this part of the video to say a massive thank you to Fargasia for 
you know, judging this week and, of course, doing the commentary as well. Now, for those of you who don't know him, Fargasia is one of the nicest guys in the 76 community, and he's very close to 10K as well. So if all you are watching could head on over there and show him some love, he would very much appreciate it. Anyhow, enjoy the rest of the video, and again, thank you very much, Fargasia. Have fun, everybody. And now, friends, starting with the top five immersive camp builds out there in the wasteland, we have Havoc with the Cliffside Camp at number five. This camp fits in so well with the mountain, and I can just imagine what the scenery looks like just sitting in a chair and relaxing while watching some TV up here. I would love to see a sunrise or a sunset, and seriously, with that staircase, Havoc, amazing job. The interior, the exterior, everything just looks absolutely amazing. Amazing job on this build. And at the number four spot, we have Patandra with the concrete plant. Plant, and they did say that they do now have the concrete truck so I can't wait to see that added to this in version 2 but they either spent some time at a concrete plant or they did some research because as someone whose father worked at a concrete plant and an asphalt plant this takes me back to my childhood it looks exactly like some of the concrete plants kind of did back in the day walking on the outside of it and just going inside i was like man this takes a whole new meaning to living at your job but seriously this is an amazing build so immersive and i would love to see this out there in the wasteland and now coming in at number three we have twisted rose with the trading post now the reason that i really like this is that i feel that i could go turn on fallout 76 right now go travel around and actually find this location that is how immersive it looks and kind of feels like to me now the simple kind of extent there's nothing too flashy there's nothing really crazy going on the interior it's packed with a bunch of stuff and i love the add-ons that you did in there especially with the scale that we got from the atomic shop that doesn't really do anything but you put an egg on it you made it look like it's actually being used or that it's been broken since it's sitting there on the floor and also as i was watching the video i was like man who is sitting in the porta potty with the door open? Well, you know, how am I not surprised that TNG picked the uh, setting for poop with friends? And coming in at the number two spot, we have Tyler made a wasteland with the Raider roadblock. And you know what they say in real estate? It's all about location, location, location. And the location of this camp is absolutely amazing because there are some structures from the base game that accent this camp's location. And if Double Eleven or Bethesda put in Raider roadblocks, I could see this actually looking like a Raider roadblock that they would put in and also that ladder made out of power conduit absolutely great touch to the camp amazing build and now before we get in here and talk about my top pick for the most immersive camp out there in the wasteland let's get in here and talk about some honorable mentions the first honorable mention goes to Milne with a custom build for vault 76 this is how I would have loved to step out of the vault y'all the only reason this is an honorable mention is because it's in a custom world but the build around vault 76 looks absolutely Absolutely amazing. This is a great reason for people to come to the vault doors along with, I guess, looking for treasure. And now, friends, as far as the second honorable mention, we're going with Yeah Bear's Fisherman Hideout. Y'all, the outside didn't have anything really going for it, and that's why we left it out of our top five immersive list, because it just looks like a box out there in the wasteland. But y'all, when you open the door, the inside is fishing nirvana. Look, I was raised in the South. I fish, I hunt, and this made me want to fish so heckin' bad. The detail is absolutely immaculate in here. Amazing job, yeah, bear. And y'all, the number one spot this week for me is going to go to Purple Haze with the Moth Man Cave. Y'all, the way they built inside the cave and then used objects that are already in the world to accent the theme that they were going for. Absolutely stunning. So amazing amazingly done to me it is very immersive because it nails that creepy theme it nails the horror theme and it nails the moth man vibe i honestly could see this being something that was added into the game inside of that cave and some of the merges in there i had to watch a few times just to notice them but absolutely stunning build amazing job purple haze and honestly i don't see how tng does it every single week on just picking the top five because y'all's creativity out out there in the wasteland is absolutely stunning thank you so much for submitting this week and thank you for allowing me to be the judge this week tng look i love y'all have a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland